ready. Now that I'm ready. <laughs> Sikuwa ready. Um, Unawana na cheka cheka. The check was always been a while since you siku siku and me for life, but today I can smile and huh. say, uh, Yeah, you are got a equal fan. I take it on. Siku and yeah. check. Na check was always been a month, guys. A month, yeah, a month now since, since December 9th. Ni me move on. Ni liko fired on that day, and I'm going to tell you on this video that uh, what happened. So now I'm just uh, taking out my stuff from the truck. And, um, yeah, we have his yeah, blankets. Yeah, my, my still in the truck, guys. Part of it was that was about a lot because uh, I couldn't believe that I'm fired. So I still had a lot of things in the truck. And uh, yeah, so it happened. And I'm here today to move my stuff. I'm going to tell you what happened first in the video that led to me getting fired. So let's go, guys. So let's move my stuff. I'm going to move it. You can see the car is outside there. My uh, truck, my pickup truck is outside there, and um, yeah, I'm moving my stuff to go home. Yeah, so baby, yeah, I'm okay. So these are some of my stuff, guys, and um, yeah, this is my, this was my bed, guys. I'm gonna miss my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss my bed. So say later, he later require nini. You you come na oh. Oh, panda box. Oh, oh, panda kwa oyo kesi. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. Gonna, <laughs> and uh, when he called me and told me the news, I was in shock. And uh, yeah, so and these things happen, guys. So we didn't want to tell you guys then because we didn't have the like we were sick. We were sick. So we decided to make this video to let you guys know. Wow. Yeah, what happened? Because uh, he's coming to get his things. Uh, because now we are still trying to plan on our next steps. So so kuna easy. You come out and touch easy. Oh, how can I put in? No, gloves in the south, and another one. So, yeah, so Everything's good to go, man. Let's go. So as I told you, in my core, more than I so that's why I can see like the way I talk now is not like before, because when I got fired, it is took a sana guys. I'm a truck driver in the first place. For those who are new, I'm a truck driver in the United States, in a state called North Dakota. You Kenyan, like, Kenyan truck driver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kenyan American truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not stealing the title, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, yeah, the same thing anyway. So, but uh, yeah, Nafanya Kutoka, North Dakota. North Dakota is like a, almost at the border of Canada and the United States. Yeah. Yeah, so, and what I do mostly is I, I was doing sand, sand hauling from, yeah. uh, it was just a local job. And um, yeah, so something happened uh, on Saturday. On 9th of yeah, so December, 15 days to Christmas. Imagine getting fired 15 days to Christmas. Boom! <laughs> Guys, you get confused, you get, because your plans like all over the place. Mm -hmm. So now, so when I got fired, I didn't know what to do. I was confused. I called my wife and I was like, fired, man. So 
even for her she was so scared na guys nilipiga ndunu yeah it was crazy <laughs> was okay so what happened guys so let me tell you what happened now i left home nilitoka saturday asubuhi kwenda kazi as usual so the truck was at the truck stop so nikaenda nikachukua lori yangu pale um nikaenda so from here to where i start uh, i work is like 50 55 miles so nikaanza kazi nikaanza kupiga kazi yangu nikaenda tumiwa lodi yangu ya kwanza so nikaenda nikachukua mzigo so kufika pale kuna so nitaweka the type of truck in this video you're gonna add the video so mm. the, yeah you're gonna see the box it's a box truck it's a box trailer so kuna kitu kama inaito um, inaito safe truck inaito kuna stairs then the safe truck the safe truck you go you lower into the trailer on top of the trailer then you go open up uh, you open up the top of the trailer because that's where they put the sand anyway upon the sand in amwago ndani so you have to open it nafungua so now it was snowing like really bad snow so yeah i went up it was so cold na nikafungua trailer yangu nika load down the safe the safe truck nikaweka juu ya trailer nikaingia kwa trailer nikafungua alafu kurudi i pulled up the i, I pulled up the safe truck nikarudisha so wakati nilirudisha juu haikulach so kuna kitu ina in latch like inashikilia alafu ina ina hold on to it so wakati nilipuruta hivi ikakosa kulach wakati uli, uli songa mbele na lori no no before i moved oh uh. so ikalach haikulach yani haiku hiyo kitu yenye inakaa hivi sasa haikushikilia safe truck ndio isirudi chini mm. so sasa kumbe wakati nilirudi kushuka chini guys na hiyo kitu ikabaki hapo like um yo yo safe truck ikarudi kwa trailer juu so kwa sababu ilikuwa ina snow na nibaridi na mimi nikakimbia kwa lori yangu nikaingia ndani so kuingia ndani when i was trying to move my 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 tires were like in a roll kwa sababu ya snow so I, so me i was now focused on the side mirror na ona two tires yangu yenye ime ina ina roll tu haija ikakosa nini naitwa aje like uh, traction ina ika loose traction so wakati niko na focus hapa chini sikuona trailer yangu juu ile kitu ya safe truck imeshikilia trailer so and um, yeah it happened like when I'm, the, the truck now is moving yo ika pull ika pull yo safe truck so ika ika twist so from its actual position like this ika ika twist like a dog a little bit so and uh, yeah i called those guys i told them okay there's a problem here at the safe truck but um so they told me they're gonna send somebody so now because i opened my trailer already i moved mean kind of learn a kazi yang na say oh maybe i didn't see any problem with it anyway it's a guy african american guys the black guy from uh, here african american mm -hmm. so when he saw what happened he he i think he he told those guys like it, yeah. Guy, yeah even that guy told me uh, can you move so i can i can come and open mine as well so mm. for me i moved guys so i didn't see like a real big deal for it like it was nothing so we're gonna even add the picture in, in here guys so you guys can see like it didn't it's not something like it went down no it's just something that twisted from its yeah. actual position so you can something small you cannot even see but we're gonna put a picture so you guys can have an idea so that's what happened and uh, so the guy uh, behind me the african american guy told those guys at the front he went desk. to report so i went on with my work uh, as usual i worked the whole day and um, at night around 8 because that's like i was doing my last load so they they told me to stop they called me they called my guy the the guy I was driving for they told him like can you tell your driver to stop me? like status my status is uh, a yes. driver permanently locked, locked out. out. That's what they said it was unreported incident. Unreported incident. So yeah. that's what happened, guys. So, be, so, now, so they said he didn't report. So yeah, I didn't report. <laughs> so that's what happened, guys. So and uh, now I tried going back. I tried calling them to explain and all that, but 
all in yeah. vain. Guys, wazungu wakisha sema kitu, man. Hey, yeah, so wakisha nice. sema kitu, it's, it's done. It's done deal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but uh, now I gotta move on and uh, the incident that happened. So, because I just reported like, uh, it's something small. I took it like something small. I didn't take it like something. The guy paid ten thousand dollars, guys. That's like yeah, that's like one million. One point yeah. five million right now. Yeah, Kenya shillings. Yeah. Yeah, that's the amount he paid, guys. That, yep. that guy paid that amount, and um, yeah, they still there's the insurance is involved and all that. Uh, yeah, and I don't know where they reach right now. Uh, I'm still talking to them anyway, so I'm gonna know uh, more things about it. How things are going about it, and. Uh, I'll let you guys know how things go and uh, if anything I'll let you know but for now uh, it is what it is man yeah so there's okay. more to life so truck drivers don't get fired <laughs> we change trucks guys something uh, some something better out there guys something better and uh, yeah I believe like when one door closes another one opens that's my belief so and uh, yeah, that's what, that's my take. So, yeah, so I lost my job, guys, and that's how it went down. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust, oh, here we go, 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 let us see a land go, you won't be a... I'm gonna say this. In the United States, we find a car anywhere. Tuseme uone mtu amefanya makosa ama ame break kitu ame nini or wewe mwenyewe ume, even if it's you who who did some kind of mistake or incident they have like most of our employees like where these companies they have like forms you have to fill up if you're someone who has been through this situation of getting you know maybe you have been fired you know how frustrating this can be and on that day honestly when David called me I was crying guys like I really felt so shocked and uh days after that i got so sick like yani i don't want to dance, celebrate after christmas that much because man in this country you have to work work is everything you have to work to survive but one of the things we agreed with davy is anything that will happen in life situations like getting fired or things like this guys we, we promised ourselves that we're just going to keep moving and keep moving on we believe that god has bigger things ahead of us so at the time to ya Numa alafu to miss out on what God has in store for us. Ask me to make a comment section if you has been you guys have been through uh situations like this, like if you got fired, how did you feel? Yeah, and you guys give us uh or give Davy some words of encouragement in the comment section. We're gonna give you guys an update on where we are heading to or what we what we are de doing, but for now. Uh, we've been uh, applying different places trying to get a new job for the B. B. Yeah. So we know that these few months, these few weeks, let's just say it's going to be rough for us. Uh, honestly, we, we're not going to lie, it's going to be rough. But we believe uh, as soon as the B gets a new job, uh, then we're going to move on from, from there. And we're going to give you guys an update on what's next. Uh, so you guys stay tuned and thank you so much for your support. Thank you for everything, guys, like from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we appreciate you guys' comments. We appreciate you guys all. I'm still breathing, standing up, everybody's gonna see it. All we need to know is that we're holding on, even.